Oh, hi guys, Sky Christian Hank here with Let's Play Slime Rancher. In the last episode, uh, well, we didn't really do very much. We found a giant gordo and we're gonna start feeding it chickens, but I'm kinda low on chickens. So that's kinda have to wait. We did get a request though. We have a second new person, Victor, who she needs a lot of pink and rock slabs, and I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. Right now, my current priority is to basically get the money to open the, the grotto so I can grow phosphorus lines without having to make a, uh, um, a uh, solar shield, basically. And well, the pink slime requirement is not going to be terribly hard because there's a ton of pink slimes here. Oh. Hi. <laughs> here. Well, I think I overdid it on the pink slimes. I probably should have let that one make that port, but... Yeah, we do specifically want stony hens, though. Okay, oh yeah, we overdid it 12 or 2. Alright, we'll give these back to their friends. We're gonna want more energy, though. Well, granted, we're gonna want... We want both the energy expansion thing and the dash shoes, but uh, one thing at a time. We need to get the grotto first. I want to get the grotto first. Especially because, uh, well, like, once they get going on a certain, like, going past there and stuff, we're going to want more corrals. Because at that point, we're going to start having more uh, slimes to deal with. I'm trying to push this as fast as I can, though, but, like, there's this so many back-and-forth things I have to do. And like I said, money is a bit of an issue early on in the game, so... Where are the rock slimes? Okay, well, there's two. We need a lot more, though. Where'd they all go? Oh, it's just disappeared. Might as well pick up these ports on the way, but... I kinda wonder where these guys went. Hmm. Uh-oh. Be gone! Oh, here we go. Let's see, anything else? It's only three. I only have three. Let's see. Alright, well, let's do some exploring. I guess over here. There's this little path off here that we've been seeing. Boop. Alright. Of course, he's a feral slime region, but it's not nighttime, so we shouldn't have any... Oh no, they still come out. Alright, so you can see like he's really angry. If we try sucking them up, we get an entry. And honestly, for the longest time, I didn't have this entry because I didn't even think about uh, sucking them or trying to suck them. Alright, so feral slimes. Feral slimes are largos with a mean streak that will attack a rancher on sight. It is not known what exactly causes a largo to become so gropey that it becomes feral, but suspected that they've simply gone too long without a bite to eat. Like so many things with slimes, food is everything. If a feral slime eats, it'll revert back to a normal Largo. So they can pose a serious risk to ranches if they're not dealt with quickly or avoided together. Feral slimes will attempt to bite ranches at close range or jump in the air and try to stomp them with their butts. In any case, the rancher needs to act fast and feed the slimes to avoid terrible troubles. Alright. So, uh, do, well, they are pink, so we can feed them carrots. Oh, here. Yeah, you can see, like, they turn, they instantly turn back to normal, like, if you feed them, so. Oh, <gasps> heartbeats. No. Uh, happy boys. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, they're all turning tar. Like, I poke this out. It's not that. Alright, we want heartbeats though. Oh, this is. Oh, wow, we're at 51 health. Hold on. Let's actually get running. Oh, Slum Gate. Oh, you know what? I think this is Slum Gate I never actually went to. Huh, so that's where that last Slum Gate was. It's all coming together now. I think it's literally just a shortcut around back. Like, it, it kind of goes all the way to the uh, other side of the overgrowth. 
Well, since we don't have that unlocked, that would kind of be a waste of a gate key. So let's not do that. We need more rock slimes, though. Hey, there's one. I think we need two more, and we're good. Just need to find them, is all. Ah. So happy. I, I aspire to be as happy as these slimes. <laughs> I mean, that is one thing I like about this game. It's a very wholesome game to me. Very cute. But he's hungry. Uh, come on. Where are the rock slimes? We need just two more. We can do this request. Like, you have to give regular slimes, too. You just you can't give Largos, because you can't even suck up Largos, let alone put them anywhere. Oh, let's get some carrots. <sighs> I was kind of hoping that I could get some generated here, but I might have to go to more extreme measures. Alright, extreme measures it is. So let's go ahead and explore this cave, which also is a feral area. guys. There we go. So they should be all calmed down now. So over here is actually a new area. And oh, do we want to do we want to do it? Let's do it. So say hello to our second area of the game, the Indigo Quarry. Let's see, where is it? No, warp. Okay. Indigo Quarry is a winding network of caves and cliffs striated with deep purple hues from the rare minerals found within. It is once the site of a mining project, but went bust after discovery of the rare ores it produces quickly break down in atmospheres other than that of the far, far range. It was later discovered that the means to harness these metals was via rock port the slime ports. Somehow, a rock slime port preserves the minerals within, a process that includes even the most prestigious slime scientists. The Indigo Quarry is the natural home for rock slimes and the more elusive rad slime. And its naturally mineral rich soil makes it a great place to harvest most wild veggies. So, this is the place if I want to find rock slimes, but we will also be finding other slimes here. Let's say this. I was always happy when I was by my lonesome. Places like the old quarry really suited me nice and quiet and mostly empty. So I figured that life on the far, far range would suit me just as well. And well, wouldn't you know it, I come all this way and the first person I see, well, she changed how I saw things, I guess. Quite, quite wasn't good anymore. I like her laugh. And, uh, oh shoot, okay. Yeah, and there's, there's the other slime I was worried about. <laughs> so I had to say hello to Boom Slimes. Uh, let's see, let's get these carrots. Carrots for everyone! So careful, these have been known to explode. <laughs> Darn it. Well, ah, they're all fusing! Ugh. My studies. Alright. Uh, oh, there's a boom slime down there. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Okay. Gonna want boom slimes, though. But yeah, they don't really talk about boom slimes, but boom slimes are uh, the third major. Uh... Well, I mean, uh, clearly we're finding a lot of phosphor slimes, but boom slimes are pretty much uh, one of two new slimes that we find in this area. Uh oh. Now, come back. Jerk. Ah. Yeah, they they are a little scared of Tars. They know what tars are about. But... Alright, and we need to actually go up there because I think you can't jump back up here. Yeah, that's like a sheer cliff face. You can't jump back up that. But we've got a rock slime, so let's go ahead and turn that in before we run out of time. Because like a, like the game said, you have a, a full in-game day before the, ex uh, the uh, request expires. So you need to get back before that happens, ideally. And I'm probably going to want to replace the uh, carrots that we have with uh, the heartbeats. Because the poco fruits and carrots are really good starter fruits and veggies, respectively. But the problem with them is they are not a favorite for any slime. They are just food. 
Just like that and the hen hens. All three of those things are just straight up food for slime. Like they are, there's no intrinsic benefits to having those. Heartbeats, on the other hand, are favorites for rock slimes. Oh, oh, actually, we should show off our new friend here, Boom Slimes. So these are meat eaters just like uh, Taggy Slimes. They prefer an another kind of hen that we haven't seen yet, the Briar Hen. So Boom Slimes are often heard before they are seen. The slime cells of a Boom Slime are constantly vibrating, cost uh, causing their slime to increasingly crackle with energy before ultimately exploding. However, the Boom Slime always comes out unscathed, though always a little dazed. So boom slimes are constantly building toward an inedible explosion, making them quite hazardous to ranchers. In addition to those explosions causing bodily harm, they also have the capacity to send all nearby slimes flying into the air, making them a hard slime to corral. Meanwhile, the plorts have all sorts of applications, including powerful rocket thrusters and demolitions. Military organizations value their highly destructive capabilities for medical technology and other research. Imagine that. Yeah, imagine that indeed. Alright. Oh, we needed eight. I'm discounted. Alright, well, uh, we might have to go back to that place. We'll just drop these off and let's replace the carrots real quick. There. And, uh, I think you guys are the veggie eaters, so let's... These are their favorites, too, so they're gonna love that. But, uh, let's get... I don't want to... I don't want to throw away any of the ones we have. So... Yeah, I might want... I'm going to take two phosphor slimes in the hopes that we can uh, set up something for them really soon. Alright, we got to find two more rock slimes, though. we got to get that request done. Requests are something that you can kind of ignore later on in the game, but right now, since we're really low on resources and stuff, they're really useful to have. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see if we can find some over here. I also still need to get Hen Hen so we can feed that Tabby Gordo. So that that's that's on the list too. Let's see. Any rock slimes here? Okay, there's one. Any more? No? <sighs> this guy's a pretty good little bit difficult to find. Okay. Right. Here, just feed him any spare hen hens we come across if we could throw them in the right place. Oh my god! Where'd he go? Kalima! Ah, he ate the stony hen. Darn it. I was kind of hoping to get back to him in time. These guys, though, they don't really care about you as far as, like, uh, you trying to set up stuff. I'm trying to see. The problem with this situation right now is that pretty much all of the, uh, rock slimes have become Largos, so we can't use those. Gonna have to go back here. Ooh, that was something. Uh, if we're lucky, we can find a rad slime while we're here too, and then I could grow my uh, most questionable fusion of slimes, the boom rad slime. Oh, there's one. Okay, we're all done. Phosphor rocks are actually kind of neat. Yeah, I think rads don't pop up until the next uh, section of the quarry, so... For now, we're just going to see uh, rocks and booms. The thing that I try to do, though, when I'm uh, planning out slimes is... Uh, well, there's the pulse wave upgrade. Uh, we get upgrades based on uh, usually... Well, you have to sometimes do stuff like uh, make enough things or sell enough things. Some of them are also just time-gated, like, I'm pretty sure that one's time-gated as well. It's kind of a more of a defensive thing, though, but it's not really something that's all that useful to me, personally. Well, it can be a little bit useful, but we need energy if we want to make it useful. Let's suck up some ports. Because, like, even when we get the, uh, Grotto, we're gonna need the money to, uh, build the... what's it? Corral. 
I'm probably not doing this ideally, but like I'm, I'm just trying to save work later on. There's a bunch of ports in there, so... Oh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Yeah, we did it! Alright, so we got a bunch of carrots and cocoa fruits. Uh, you guys are the fruits one, you are the veggie ones, so... Uh, well, okay, we have the money, so I might want to... Darn, this is kind of complicated because we, we are really full up on slimes right now. There. Oops. Alright, well, let's suck up these. Stop that. No bully. I do want rock ports though, because. Well, right now the most. Ex okay, so you can see a few more have lit up now. So, like this one, this one, this one, and this one. That means that we have access to these four slimes now. We just have to find them. Uh, but first off, I'm gonna want. Let's get these ports, because we're gonna want money in this point. Because, like I said, we need the money to buy the Grotto, and then we need the money to build the Corral. It's also past 16 minutes, so I might want to just kind of wrap up here. Okay, and then let's pick up this pink slot, of course. Oh, okay. Stop! <laughs> okay. And uh, we might want to fill up the thing with that, too. I did want to get auto feeders for these eventually in the port things too. We gotta make sure we're constantly sucking these things up though, so we're not uh, just kind of letting them sit on the floor there. We still got 36 floor food, so let's just put these in there for now. Oh, actually, hold on. What are phosphorus limes again? Fruit, okay. Oh, they actually prefer cute berries, so let's hold on to those. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Yay, we have that. And what's in the grotto? Well, we'll find out in the next video, guys. So this is Guy Cushion 9. This has been Let's Play Slime Rancher. And we'll see you there. And then in the next video, we're going to get the grotto explored. We're going to set up the phosphor slimes and probably fuse them with the boom slimes, honestly. I think that will be my uh, way to go for now. Until again, guys, I'll see you later. Take care.